Hey everybody, Brian here. Wanted to show you a cool trick. I've shown this before many times actually. It's not too difficult. Uh, to have MATLAB get called from a C Sharp client is pretty straightforward. There's numerous options, but as you know, I like to do the simplest way of doing things. So here we have a simple function. There's a little calculation, a little addition, and and something from within MATLAB the function. Then we have our C code or C sharp code. I'll show you that in a minute. All right. So um, here's the function. Simple stuff. Uh, what we've got here, I put this in my source code here, my Visual Studio. Um, the first link I just showed you on MathWorks, a MATLAB site, right there. Um, the next one is adding uh, a DLL for, Mat, Mat, for MATLAB ML app DLL. You add it, um, there's different ways to do that, but you can do this, follow this link, I think I got it somewhere here. Right here, you just follow these instructions and how do I find how I fixed it. And uh, what you're essentially doing is just following these commands, registering MATLAB within the uh, Windows. And uh, from there, you just re register the server. From there, next time you call up your uh, DLL or your, your MATLAB, you call it your MATLAB, you should be able to find the uh, the DLL MATLAB application type library. Let me show you that. So here, if you come under any project, you'll find that I've added the ML app DLL uh, add reference. So if you come under here, uh, you shall find it right there. MATLAB application type library. Yahoo. Okay. So there's the code. In MATLAB. So let me show you what it's doing. Uh, you instantiate your MATLAB DLL um, and then you uh, call it uh, MATLAB and then you can do numerous things. So in my case I'm search so later on here you CD over to the proper folder wherever that function is in this case is where it's at uh, and then you can call it Simple as that. Now, this is a little tricky, not too bad. This is the name of the function. Number of parameters you're going to call. This is our output. And these are our parameters. So we got two of these and world. Let me just check something. Uh, it looks like we're calling three. So it's really. Uh, I think it's. Uh, Three but zero base, so zero, one, two. And then our result here, so it can be in a universal object type, and we just parse out, which is an array, and we just parse it out. Result zero and one. Let's check it out when we run it. So you can see um, we've returned two functions, sorry, two results, 45.14 and hello world and that is all whatever we have to find in our MATLAB function right here A plus B pretty cool eh? try that for Python or R and again um, you can do things like this where you can use MATLAB as an engine for C++, .NET, Java and even Python now pretty cool talk to you later